Good morning from the RTR. It is. We're gonna get pancakes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get pancakes, Claire. Jeez, it's also Claire's last day. Clearly, she's clearly she's very excited. Pancakes. All right, all dude. All shapes and sizes of pancakes. All right. <laughs> but I don't have syrup. Oh, really? I need to get my tag. I got honey. I have some too. So Dean made us some flapjacks. Get it? Butts. All right. Today we're starting off with a full <laughs> dose of puns with a side of pancakes. I need to go find some honey. Oh wait, he There's has some, honey. You got a honey. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> look at how great these pancakes look. How excited are you? I'm extremely excited. Oh my gosh, there's butter too. Yeah, well, margarine. And of course, <laughs> yeah. breakfast of champions would not be Dr. complete Pepper. without Dr. Pepper, Dean. <laughs> way to set an example for the children of the world. Okay. Well, wait until I get out the other stuff. Here, well, what do we got? A bottle of wine. Oh, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, anyways, we uh, also, well, I turned this thing on with the help of Dean to kind of see what exactly this thing is, because um, I'll be installing one shortly. And I can tell you that the heat is just getting sucked out of here. And I'm actually pretty ex excited to install that, so hopefully that'll be installed soon. I asked Jamie if he wanted to do a, uh, a video install and you know help out, so perhaps we'll tackle that. If not, maybe me and Dean will install it. Would you like some pancake with your butter? You're the one that put the freaking butter on my pancake. <laughs> True story. Also, <sighs> by the way, Dean's a little weird, and he just poured us like chocolate donut coffee. <laughs> Apparently, What's wrong that's with a this? thing. Is that Batman would drink? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is legit coffee. Wait, donut flavored coffee. I've never even heard of that before. And go ahead and laugh in the comments. And then chocolate caramel. Well, it's actually pretty tasty. Also. You're putting more <laughs> sugar in your coffee, Lord! I'm just gonna try to finish this whole thing off right there. Oh my gosh. What a bad example. Diabetes. Di Dr. Pepper and uh, sugar with a little coffee. What a judgmental group. <laughs> <laughs> Some visitors. Yeah! Nomadic movement. What are you guys bringing? I thought you guys were bringing pancakes. I know. Uh, we brought we... potatoes and beans, just leftovers and apples and peanut butter. Cool. Yeah. So. We have pancakes. Just breakfast party. party. Bre breakfast of uh, champions That's and it. bus right. lifers. That's, That's right. It. Yeah. Yes. Leftovers. <laughs> Claire has a. Uh, breakfast oh. Lola. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't go down either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lola. Hi, baby. Hi. No. no. Did you sit by mom? Sadly, Claire Bear, the Clarodactyl, she has to leave today. But before she leaves, I got something a while ago. I didn't really know who to give it to, but I figure I think Claire Bear is a good person to give it to. So. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little pendant thing made out of some kind of copper and turquoise. Thank you. You're welcome, Claire Bear. You're so sweet. Thanks for all the good times on the road. And many more to come. And I know it was dark in here, so you can't really tell, but uh, this is a little thing. It, uh, it just needs, like, some kind of... Um, necklace strap or something. I don't know. I really don't know what to what you do with these things. I'm not really a jewelry dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today could be the day. Um, I need to get this thing installed because Dean was making me pretty envious of having a vent fan in place. And I don't exactly have the tools. I need a jigsaw. Dean has a jigsaw. Steve Punk Steve has a jigsaw. I think someone else might have a jigsaw. I'm going to go ask Jamie if he wants to do a video with me for his channel, although I just sent a nice guy named Michael up there to do the same thing. So I might just grab some butyl tape. It's basically fruit by the foot, but it's waterproof. So I was minding my own business walking back to the bus, and I got myself some butyl tape from Jamie, and then I have this awesome little, what would you call this? It's a, it's a crocheted butterfly. I got a crocheted butterfly from, uh, from you guys, yeah. from Kelly, yes. So, awesome, thanks. I'm going to give this to... Clarodactyl, another <laughs> another party gift. So thank you guys, and very nice to meet all of you. <laughs> all right, see ya. Claire Bear, I come bearing gifts. What is that? It's a crochet butterfly. Oh, cute. Yeah. Um, That's super cute. Yeah, I was walking by, and some viewers started talking to them, and then all of a sudden, poof! She was like, "Yeah, I make these like nice little crochet butterflies," and so she offered me one. Cute. That's like the OG fidget fidget spinners. 
That's right, kids. If you guys need to fidget on something, you should start crocheting. Mm -hmm. Something productive. Just telling Claire how difficult it is for me to remember names. That's one of my. <laughs> it's one of my my weaknesses in life. I wish I was better, but I don't know. I'm better at other things, so I suppose there's that. Claire, where are you going with my beef jerky? She's giving away. <laughs> She's hogging the jerky. Um, by the way, that's Claire's jerky. She's going to take it back to Texas because she has to leave today. And I met Bill, uh, who is an RN, and my mom is an RN. So everybody, everybody loves a nurse, you know, when you're sick and you don't feel good. We're going to catch up. Um, thank you for the beef jerky, by the way. Homemade stuff. Claire's leaving. That's a big frown. Bye, Claire Bear. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Hopefully soon. Yes. All right. Get home in one piece. I'll try. Oh, what's inside? Cardboard. <laughs> um, is that Mike? Oh, by the way, this is yeah, Mike. Mike's, up here. Mike's on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, Claire, put him on the mic. Uh, by the way, That's not Claire. Nope. Claire all left. That's okay. sad. By the next yeah. longest, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. sad. Next so, <laughs> yeah, next longest hair. Uh, so, anyways, this is what it looks like when you get a fan. Dean, do you want to do the honors and pull that sucker out? Or here, I can't. I, I suppose. So here's here's a full unboxing for all the unboxing people. That's gonna be. Uh, fuel for the fire tonight. Is there anything in there? Yeah, just toss it off. So, Max Fan. Wow, that's a very large... Whoops. I don't think you're supposed to treat it like that. Oh, we're going to make it. We'll have to trim we are. A bit. Maybe. Oh, under the panel. 16? Yeah, we can trim under the... We, we might have to remove a the... panel. Yeah, that seems very deep though. Yeah, you'll have to cut this sometimes. Oh, really? Might, okay. Might not be easy to cut. So, anyways, we're going to get it all set up. Yeah, we need to uh, mount this and see if it's going to fit in between the solar panels or if I'm going to have to move the panels. And it looks it looks like we're going to fit. We'll make it work. It's yeah. It's like right on. Well, it's going to, the center is going to be, right. it's going to be off a little bit like, like that or whatever. So. It's okay, we have a lot of play with the, uh, with the trim. I just eyeballed it. We'll use this just but. as a remembering to Okay. Be. What we did was uh, we popped the top of the solar because we're going to move it back. There's there's a hole right here um, that could be from water damage, that could be from uh, us being a little bit too aggressive, uh, trying to pry out the uh, rivets. The rivets definitely don't want to come out. So uh, we're just disconnecting the solar and um, yeah, we're going to slide this, theoretically slide this whole box back and uh, cut around this uh, vent here. Dina's taking over the wheel here, and uh, we are just noting, uh, yeah, we are just noting how fast of a snip that these tin snips uh, create here. A lot less uh, metal uh, <laughs> debris flying everywhere too from, uh, from like an angle uh, grinder. So step one uh, is complete. We cut out the proper size. Uh, step two, we're gonna drill down and then connect on the inside. We're gonna go inside the bus for the next step and then uh, connect these uh, dots, if you will, with a snip, 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 and uh, we will have our opening. All right, now, if you guys are wondering why Dean is doing this, well, somebody's gotta hold the camera and he's got real shaky hands. So uh, that is uh, not because uh, I think Whoa. he's a better DIYer. <laughs> By the way, that's kind of a BS excuse. And look at all the sun coming in now. Working with sheet metal for 30 years kind of helps you know what you're doing when you cut through sheet metal. Yep, he's very good. Look at that straight line. He's a pro. Hire Dean for your next school bus. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what step we're on, but we had to uh, get some slack out of the panels. So we are uh, trying to put them back on right now. All right, hours later, we are uh, continuing on. We had to run wire through there and I screwed up and I pulled the wire and so <laughs> that's why we have the vice grip uh, so it doesn't accidentally get pulled through let me show you where we had to go through we had to go through here to the control panel back behind there uh, where Uncle Dan is hanging out and uh, and then all the way down to the batteries under the seat under the bench so that is my 
kind of rigged way to uh, keep it from uh, getting screwed up. <laughs> Man, that was such so disappointing when I accidentally pulled the wires through. Oh, and by the way, we're using both black uh, wires because we don't have red. So we marked one of them with tape, and that's going to be the black one, which is right there. All right, so we siliconed under the butyl tape and uh, actually under this uh, lip here. So we have silicone, butyl tape, and more silicone. And now we're just going to press it into its final very location, tight. its final home. And it's a very tight squeeze over, over uh, right by the solar panels. So, yeah, yeah. cool. Next up, we are going to drill in the thing. I have to cut that in. Great news! This is the mounting plate on the roof. Step whatever, cut excess off of that thing. So we just uh, pinched the wires. We connected the wires in place. And uh, next step, we have to uh, drill and uh, secure this. And up top, Dean is going to screw in the actual fan to the mounting plate, which um, we drilled into the bus from the top. Yeah.